my lovelies and welcome to today's video and welcome here to the channel Currently Human where we discuss all things relating to the human experience. So today's video has been highly requested by one viewer here on this channel for years now so I hope to do it justice and I just want to say off the bat that this video is just going to be scratching the surface of what is karma because it is impossible for me to describe it properly in a 15 to 20 minute long video. But the scratching the surface is also important so we can really delve in at a later point. So the first thing that I want to say is whatever conception or ideas that you might have about what is karma is largely based on like misinformation spread through movies and TV shows if you're from the West people would say uh, like you know someone does something bad they will say oh my god it's uh, and something bad happens then to them like oh that's karma or this person killed someone and they got hit by a car that's karma that was their karma of doing a bad thing and in the East it is sometimes misunderstood as are oh, you a horrible person in this lifetime so you will get reborn into a life where you will experience a lot of suffering. Now there are a lot of misconceptions in both of those ideas. So let's get started about what it actually is. The first thing that you have to understand is that karma is neither good nor bad. It is neither. It is neutral. It is a lesson that we are meant to learn in this lifetime. Now we as humans have an ego. It is what keeps us alive, it is what keeps us safe. And this ego is often the one that experiences things and casts judgment and then decides if something is good or bad. And whenever threat when something threatens this ego, we are often feeling very um, defensive, so we feel like something is bad. And that is what karma is here to do. It is not here to punish us. It is here to challenge us. It is here to challenge us and help us grow as human beings. It is a lesson that we are meant to learn in this lifetime. It is not that you are this horrible being, so you are being punished for some actions in your past. Yes, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. We know that that is a fact. But that is not karma. Karma transcends that basic energetic principle. It is not there to even the scales. It is there to help us transcend the scales. And it is there to help us transcend as human beings and propel us into a new way of being. Now the best way that we can explain this is through a few stories. Well, before we even get to the stories, I think it's important that we note that karma is not something that is just taking place in one lifetime. And I think that is something the East, Eastern philosophies have, right? It is not something we just experience in one lifetime. So um, I did this bad thing in my life, now I'm being punished for it. It is something that can thread through multiple lifetimes. But our ego, our perception of self is always in the present, what we experience as the present. Now we know time is just an illusion, so all of these lifetimes, all of these experiences are actually happening simultaneously. But that is very hard for our brains to understand because we are low vibrational human beings. And I'm not saying low vibrational and like, oh, that person is low vibe, they're like drinking, they're doing all these things that are bad for them. No, human beings just naturally vibrate at a lower frequency. Therefore, we are a only able to perceive time in a specific way. That's a fact. I'm not trying to um, insult you in any sort of way. That is simply a fact. So, we are experiencing all of time simultaneously but our perception of time is controlled 
through the ego. It is keeping us sane. It is keeping us safe. It is also casting the judgment on what is good and bad to keep us sane, to keep us safe. But if we are saying that this lesson that I am meant to learn through karma um, will keep reoccurring until I learn it. So it will keep uh, going through our lifetimes as we are reincarnated, as you say that, until we learn the lessons now. If in a past lifetime, we say, see this com comes <laughs> full circle, but if we say in my past lifetime, I had certain experiences happen to me and I did not learn from them. So then I was reborn, I'm re-experiencing these experiences with the goal of learning from them. Okay, I think a lot of people understand that as karma, but first we have to understand the perception of self. Was that you in the previous life? Yes, but also in a sense, no. Because your perception of self is in your present lifetime. Your perception of self because of the ego is not in the past. Therefore, every life that we have experienced, yes, it was you, but it was you in the sense that you are part of the universal whole. You are part of the universal consciousness. You are the drop, single drop of water dripping into the ocean. Where do you end and the ocean begin? That is the type of mentality we have to have. So all karma that you are experiencing in your life is not on an individual basis, on an individual level. It is on a universal level. You are not only learning these things to level yourself up, to transcend your own experience, your own perception of self. You are experiencing these things. You are experiencing this karma to help all of humanity to help all of our universal consciousness, our collective experience to transcend. We are all mirroring each other to help us as a collective grow. That's why certain people trigger you. They trigger that karmic release, that karmic cycle to happen. That is what we call karmic relationships. When a relationship, romantic, familial, or friendship, triggers a karmic cycle or karmic disillusionment. I don't know, words are so flimsy. <laughs> that is what we call a karmic relationship. But what is a generational karma? Generational karma is something, again, Karma that you are meant to experience, to transcend, learn from, that has been passed down to you through your bloodline. It is not a burden to carry. It is a lesson to learn. I have a video on generational karma if you want to check it out. Maybe I should watch it again. We are all constantly learning and growing as human beings, so it's okay if everything is not up to date anymore. So, I said a lot, but in order to understand, I feel like humans understand a lot when it comes to stories that we like watching movies and everything. Now, I don't know how many of you are into astrology, but when we look at the North Node, South Node, the hero's journey, we see that a lot, karma. We can see the karma and the dharma of one person in their north node, south node. So when we discuss the hero's journey in a movie, for example, um, a very popular trope is the rags to riches. Someone is born very poor and they get this amazing opportunity, either through working very hard, but the opportunity needs to be there in order to work hard and they work themselves out of that situation or something just gets handed to them they win the lottery or 
they just get this amazing opportunity thrown into their lap that no one else has. They work themselves out of that state that they were in, their poor financial state, and suddenly they're very rich. We've seen that trope in movies so many times. Why? Because it's something we can all relate to on a universal level, not in the sense like, oh, I'm working hard, I'm making money, blah, 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 I transform my life. Yes, in the sense that we can transform our life, not in the monetary sense. That is karma. That person was given a challenge that they transcended, that they learned from, and it changed their life. Other way around is also true. This person has the richest rag story, having so much money on top of the world, they have everything. Then something out of their control happens, sends them spinning downward, they lose everything. Karma. Does it mean that person A, who has the rags to riches story, and person B, who has the riches to rags story, that person A has more value than person B? No. Does it mean that person A is a wonderful person and that's why they were given this gift, even if they were a wonderful person in their past life, they were given this gift, whereas person B is this horrible person, maybe a serial rapist, something horrible in their past life, and this is to punish them. That is what our perception of karma has been up to this point, but I will tell you that is wrong. It is not that the one person is good and the other person is bad and that karma is kind of there to even the scales. No. Karma is not good or bad. The reason we experience it as good or bad comes from the ego. The ego wants to hoard. The ego wants to have enough. The ego wants to be oversatiated. So we perceive abundance or lack thereof as good or bad, where it simply is. The karma does not come in, karma is not losing or gaining, karma is learning from that. What are you learning from suddenly person A gaining so much in your life? Maybe you are learning that you can overcome any obstacle. Maybe you are learning that money is not the answer, but your ambition is. Ambition is the thing that drives you. Your love for your family. What is motivating you to get up every morning and work hard? We are learning those things. That is karma. Not the money. Not this amazing opportunity. But what are you learning from that amazing opportunity? You might also, person A, seems like such a glow up. Went from rags to riches. What happens when they have everything? What happens when that person is on the peak of everything, but they always want it, then they realize they're not happy. They're still not happy. That is still where karma comes in. Karma is not the unhappiness. That is your response to your karma. Karma is the lesson. What are you learning? Ah, maybe this person is learning that they, even though, yes, they worked so hard for all of this, they're still not happy because there's still something in themselves that they need to work. Where's person B? Had everything. Something out of their control happens, they lose everything. Was that punishment? Is that karma punishment? That is not the karma. The karma is everything they learn after they lose it. That is the karma. How am I responding? to these actions, to these unforeseen events that have happened to me. That is the karma. What am I learning from it? Am I learning how to pick myself up, put myself back together again, reprioritize my life, make myself, my mental health, a bigger priority? All of that is karma, not the money or the lack thereof, 
or the punishment. Punishment, that is not karma. Karma is not punishment. Karma is a lesson that we learn. And how we respond to this lesson, that ultimately is our karma. I hope that that made sense. And if there's certain specific things you want me to go more in depth with, please ask those questions as clearly as you can because I have a tendency to ramble and then I'm not sure if I make sense or I'm just talking around in circles. But I will also be coming out with a video focused on karmic relationships because that's a big way a lot of us experience karma in our life that it's triggered by people. Um, and I want to say that's completely normal that happened to me this year. So keep an eye out for that. And please, questions down below, your own experiences down below. And I hope that together we can understand these concepts a little bit better. And until then, bye.